Mark Stoops usually doesn't attend his final call-in show. However, after Kentucky's chaotic loss in Saturday's Governor's Cup, Stoops deviated from the norm to address Big Blue Nation. Stoops took time to talk about Kentucky's conduct during the game, in particular the fight with Lamar Jackson in the video captured by a fan that showed Denzel Ware throwing a trash can at a Cardinal. Said Stoops, quote, there was no excuse for the way that things played out. I was not very proud of it. Our team has represented this university by and large very good. We have some guys doing some great things. The negative stuff and the way we played and the way we represented the university at times Saturday, I was not very proud of it. That needed to be addressed, end quote. Stoops said that he met with Jordan Jones and Ware, among others, and that it will be addressed internally. And if the players meet the requirements set by Stoops, they will be eligible to return for the bowl game. Jacob Hyde has been selected to the SEC Community Service Team. Hyde graduated last May and has been working on his master's. He volunteers at UK Children's Hospital, Picadome Elementary, and Woodford County Library, among others. Last season, he was inducted into UK's prestigious Frank G. Hamm Society of Character. And according to numerous reports, Tennessee is now focused on Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy after Sunday's Greg Schiano debacle. According to an Oklahoma State Cowboys website, Gundy will meet with Tennessee Athletic Director John Curry today in Dallas. Gundy has been in Stillwater for 13 seasons and is coming off a 9-3 season. Willie Cauley-Stein had a great night Monday against the Warriors. Cauley-Stein scored a team-high 19 points, including this monster dunk late in the fourth quarter to tie the game. Kali Stein also grabbed eight rebounds and dished out six assists as the Kings topped the Warriors 110-106. Kentucky Volleyball opens NCAA play Friday against ETSU at 7.30. Playing at home was exactly what the Cats wanted, and they're hoping True Blue fans will come out and fill Memorial Coliseum. You know, we certainly wanted the opportunity to play in front of our own fans again, and uh, we get that chance this weekend. And and uh, you know, we our fans have been phenomenal and, and continue to get bigger and bigger uh, each match and each season. And, and so, uh, the chance to play at home is, is awesome, and, and we can't wait. We'll have more LAX18 news after this.
Temperatures are going to start cooling down through the rest of the week, but we're not getting cold just yet. Before showers move in on Thursday, and then it looks like by this time next week, that's when we could be seeing it feeling a little bit more like December. We can handle it. <laughs> thanks, Jill. And thanks for watching Nightly News.